Hey guys, this is Sonny from Team Ripalips. I got the Daiwa Lexa 300 HL Baycast Reel. Alright, let's get this out of the box. Alright, with this, you're going to get a reel, bag, instruction manual, and inside this is the breakdown sheet. Uh, there's going to be no oil or tool or anything like that inside the box. You're going to have your parts list. Uh, so if you're going to be taking your reel apart, this is a good way to, to look at this so you can see where all your parts go if you were to take it apart. Uh, the parts list is basically so you can just replace your parts if you need to and you know what parts are which and uh, where they go. So you get your warranty, uh, how to adjust the reel, all that stuff. It's right on there. So, now let's get to the reel. Alright, right out of the box. Nice gun metal with that flake in there. Uh, the reel is big from the 100 size. Uh, from the 100 size, uh, let me see if I get the 100. So this is the 100 size. The 300 is a lot bigger. The handle's bigger, the body's bigger. It's got a deeper spool. It's just wider front to back, side to side. <coughs> um, so anyways, nice swept handle. Uh, it's nice aluminum. It's got a star drag made of aluminum with the clicks. <clears throat> Spool tension knob. No clicks. Has good tension on it though. This ain't going to come loose on you. <clears throat> the thumb bar is just plastic. It's a, uh, it's black with like a matte uh, finish right here where it's got a little bit of texture. Uh, you got a real deep spool on this one. This one is not a wiffle spool. This one's just got drill marks in it. But it's a very skinny spool. This will hold a lot of line. Uh, so let me show you the drag system, the mag force drag system. Uh, oh yeah, and I sh found that a quarter turns this the best. It, usually people say use a penny. I read a couple things on there that said use a penny, but the penny doesn't fit in there very good. This fits in there almost perfect. <clears throat> Alright, so. Alright, and with this style, you're going to spin this down. Just like that. There's your mag force braking system. This is a magnet, this is not a centrifugal brake system. This uses magnets that slide out, so when you turn this on, so here's the knob here, and this one has 10 adjustments, it's got 11, so it's got off, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <clears throat> so, if you were to turn this on, it moves the magnets, so that, uh, and the magnets work off of this right here. And uh, this has an aluminum frame and an aluminum side plate. And when they say that, that does not mean that this is the side plate. This is a graphite side plate. Uh, this plate right here is aluminum. And the body is aluminum, which is where you want the strength. Uh, when you, you know, when you get a fish, the main flex is in this, in the reel seat. Is in the reel seat and in the handle side so those are the kind of things you want to keep in a line uh, this has some pretty good rigidity to it uh, when you have this on and you click it in it actually fits really tight and then once you tighten this down <clears throat> like uh, it shows like when I got it when I took it out of the box this thing was kind of tight not really but it was to the point where it was touching and then a little bit more so let me see I'll show you where it was 
so it was like right about there it had like just enough tension that I don't know so I like it a little bit tighter than that so this thing's nice and flush and tight uh, it's just a nice reel uh, I'm gonna probably throw swim baits on this Uh, another thing to note here is the reel foot on this one and the 100 is very square. Most of the bay castles that I have, or actually all of them, have a tapered. They're tapered. It's a little skinnier up here, and then it tapers in. These ones are perfectly square, and I noticed that they're longer. They're longer than any of the other bay cast reels that I have. So they they still fit in all my rods, but they it's a tight fit. Like you have to even with the things loose. You have to kind of tip it and go in and then tighten it down. Um, so. It fits real nice in my hand too. Even though for a big reel, and this thing holds a lot of line. Um, it's pretty smooth. You can feel the gears a little bit, but it's not much. It's I can just feel this reel being one of those reels where it gets smoother as you use it. Uh, so you will get clicks with your with your drag adjustment. It's got nice rubber handles, right uh, knobs, which aren't very heavy. Uh, I actually took the caps off of this one and on the 100, and uh, the bearing, the first bearing starts like it's almost about halfway. It's about it's about right there. So it's not like there's a shaft that goes all the way across. And you know that just has more weight because all the tension when you're cranking down is pretty much right in right in the middle of this handle. It's not on the end; it's pivoted right here. <clears throat> um, yeah, this thing feels really good. So that's the Alexa 300 HL. Let me give you some details on this. This is a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. The reel weighs in at 10.5 ounces. Feels a little bit lighter in my hand. Um, still nice. It's not as heavy as you would think it would be. Um, so this has got the UT drag, which the drag is very smooth. Really smooth, has no jumping. Uh, it's got the infinite anti reverse. So when you try to reel backwards, it, there's no gap, it just stops. It's got a dual stopper, which means anti reverse roller bearing. And then it has, there's a, a bar up there, uh, it's got like a hook on it, which when you try to reel backwards, even if that, if that one way gear was to, uh, slip that would catch it there's a bar in there that would catch it so that's what it means by dual stopper it's got an aluminum uh, machine spool with nice gold accents on it in those drilled those drilled uh, holes right there that are gold uh, it's got seven ball bearings so it's got six bearings inside here and one roller bearing it's got a magnet anti-reverse uh, anti-backlash control which is this, the MagForce. <clears throat> and what it will hold for line is for mono, it will hold 12 pound. It will hold 240 yards. Uh, if you put 20 pound, no, 14 pound mono, it will be 190 yards. 20 pound, 120 yards. So that's a, lot, that's a lot of line. And for your braids, 40 pound, Will hold 240 yards, 55 pound, 180 yards, 80 pound, 120 yards. Haven't decided what line I'm going to put on here yet. Definitely going to be throwing some swim baits with this. Very solid reel. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. And like I said, I'll have some uh, pictures at the end, some nice detailed close ups. So you guys can see that. Alright. Team Ripple Lips. See you guys later.
sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.